All right, what's up everyone? So today we are talking about our CRF 110 and probably why you've been getting flat tires lately. It's not your fault. It's actually Honda's fault and here's why. So we got a 2021 CRF 110. This is our actually our boy's bike here and he's been ripping it now for about a year and we keep on, we're on our, like our fourth tube now and it's been super ridiculous and we've had between our buddies who put them in and we've had uh, shop put one in and then now this just last time a dealer put one in even though we should have probably just did it ourselves we had the dealer do it and we had a rim lock finally installed and the reason why i say it's not your fault is because these things from the factory should have a rim lock in them and here is why mainly the reason why you've probably been getting flat tires is either your tire gets a little bit low you go out to rip it doesn't seem that bad you know it's probably still got 10 pounds or so in it which isn't horrible and what happens is, is that this tire spins on this rim and then it starts bunching up the tube inside causing the valve here stem to rip off now don't mind this here we'll talk about that here in a second but that is the reason why you keep on going through your tubes is because that valve stem is probably getting ripped off we ran through the same issue with our klx 110ls which is the one bike that i rip and we kept on getting flat tires now we do do some a lot more uh, aggressive stuff as far as we're out in the woods. We're hitting rocks. We're definitely running them. Obviously, I'm a heavier guy than what my boy is. He's probably like 60, 70 pounds versus, you know, me being over 200 pounds. But regardless, he was having the same issue. So we finally got a rim lock in this thing, and I know it's going to be good. But again, that's the same thing. We kept on ripping valve stems out on the Cowie until we put a, a rim lock in there to hold that tire to keep it from spinning, and that's what was happening. So... If you're having the same issue where you keep on ripping your tube or getting a flat tire on your bike, that's probably what it needs. Now you could say like, well, you just need to run more air pressure. Yeah, okay, well the problem with that, you're running too much air pressure, you're not getting all the performance that you need out of that rear tire. And that's why we run rim locks so you can keep between 12 to 15 pounds of air pressure in your tire, get some good traction, and still keep her floating and keep the tube having air in it and not ripping off that valve stem. Now. To go back to this, which I don't believe because I've never had to do it, hit us up in the comments if this is something you do, and maybe we just don't know about this secret, you know, thing. But the guy at the dealership says he builds professional bikes, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's a professional, but he says that we, the reason why we're ripping valve stems off um, is because this nut here, we tighten it down. And generally, we're not like tightening it down with the, you know, with the, 12 inch you know 14 inch whatever breaker bar or anything like that we just we just snug it up it's no big deal but that's why he's saying that another reason why we're ripping our valve stem out though he did specify that it is a big issue with pit bikes in general that they don't have rim locks on these bikes and that you freaking spin the tire and a valve valve stem rips off so i don't know take that with maybe a grain of salt what he says i don't know but all i know is that once we put a rim lock on our klx 110l no more problems we've had the same tube in now for years now i'm gonna have to replace that tube saying that but we've had it in there for a while and i just wanted to add in the type of terrain that my boy is riding on on this bike he definitely rips this bike to its full potential um but he is mainly in sand dirt not a lot of too much uphill stuff like that so there's no reason why that tire shouldn't be held on to the rim or or whatever the reason. And if you look at any of the bigger bikes, like as soon as you jump up in size, it seems like they come factory already with a rim lock. So like our KLX um, 140 has a rim lock in it, you know, on a 14 inch rim, a little bit bigger rim. But, you know, that one comes with a rim lock. So I don't know why they don't put a rim lock on these 110s. They obviously have almost dang near the same power as a 140, close so and a way lighter bike so i don't know what the main reason is i don't know if we've just been having bad luck or whatever but all i know is that we put a rim lock in and it solved all our issues so that's where we're at been having those issues put a rim lock in you'll be good to go but that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it make sure you check out all our other stuff on our channel and all that we got plenty of shenanigans dirt bikes pit biking four wheelers all types of how to's and just plain having fun so Check it out, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. We'll see you later.